In the 867 start date, the British Isles are torn apart, ravaged by war. Anglo-Saxon kings are pitted against Viking raiders, but who will be able to conquer the British Isles? Well, hopefully, neither of them. But I will be playing as King Cossentin, the Gaelic King of Alba, attempting to reclaim Britannia for the Gaelic people. If you enjoy this video, please like, please subscribe, and let me know what you think. So at the start of the game here, we've got a couple of things to worry about, and that is the Great Heathen Army. Um, the Sudrea, Jorvik, both have a ton of special event troops, so we're going to ignore them for a minute and see how that sort of um, settles itself down. Once they've uh, had their wars against Northumbria and East Anglia, I think what we're going to do is murder them, or attempt to at least, and then break apart their realm. I think they should lose their special event troops when that happens. So that's the plan when it comes to them. While we're waiting for that, what we're going to do is uh, pick off a load of these one province um, Irish counts. We should be able to, yeah, we should be able to smash them up pretty easily. So what I'll do is, before we've even unpaused the game, make that one two and i think we'll leave it at just three for the minute i'm sure this can't go wrong as we're our brother's primary heir i think i'm going to do i suppose it's only sporting if i um, attempt to murder my brother so we have successfully murdered our brother but somehow it's um resulted in us losing our leg which is um slightly concerning but you know i'm sure it won't stop us and now we've been maimed and we've lost our eye um yeah we're only three years into the game and we're now one legged one eyed this is starting to feel a bit cursed if i'm being honest so it looks like King Ayla must have died, and he's actually, um, his son has inherited Lovian, which he was which means he's not at war with, um, yeah, he's not at war with any of the Vikings, so somehow he's managed to preserve his land here, which is lucky for us, which means we can just start taking what he's got here. So we are going to start a murder plot against the Arl Iver here should be pretty straightforward I'm hoping I really don't want to have to fight him so we're holding court here and we've just got um, it looks like we've got an opportunity to vassalize one of these Irish counts yeah can't really see um... I think we're just going to play it safe there we go so we should now have, dun, 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 dun. yeah, easy as that. Well, that saves one more. So now our troops have rebuilt a little bit. I'm going to go down again and um, take on a load more of these Irish counts, I think. There we go, four wars. Would be nice to wrap up Ireland pretty quickly here. And then we can focus on taking on these Vikings in England and uh, the west of Scotland. As if four wars wasn't enough, uh, the Northman army has declared on us for the Duchy of Connacht. Which, um, yeah, that's not great. It says he has, yeah, 8,800 men, which um, we can't do anything about that, to be honest. Even if we call in Charles the Bald. I mean, we'll do it, just um, just as uh, fingers crossed, but um, I'm prepared just to lose that, to be honest. Right, we've got an event that uh, could solve our problem here. We've just got to pay 200 gold, and we can, um, we can get rid of them. We've got a lot of gold at the minute, so I'm, I just don't think it's worth fighting him, to be honest. I feel like a uh, feel like a coward, but you know, there we go. And here we go, your Ivar, hopefully, is dead. There we go, perfect. 
Yeah, so now he's, um, his kingdom's broken apart a bit. He'll, it'll be much easier to take on. Yeah, only 1,800 troops, 57 troops. That should be, you know, piece of piss. And that is the last of those wars wrapped up. So, looking. Yep. Lovely, lovely border gore in Ireland there. Looks fantastic. Now we have murdered Jarl Ivar, I think the next the next person on my hit list is uh, Half Dan. We're one by one getting our way through all of Ragnar Lothbrok's sons. And here we go, Jarl Half Dan. Another dead Viking. Look at that, perfect. Perfect. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on a hunt to try and get our prestige up to the point where we can start uh, declaring for duchies rather than for um, just one county at a time. Should make our expansion a lot quicker. So on that hunt we took every event that would increase our prestige and we are up to illustrious now. So I think what we're going to do is just declare for a duchy. Yeah, here we go. Easy as that. And that is our war against the Sidreya over. Uh, Jarl Ivar's legacy was uh, pretty poor in the end. So it looks like King Alfred, the um, kind apparently, not great, just kind, has uh, agreed a deal with King Siegfried and the Dane law has uh, popped up. Uh, if I've got anything to do with it, that is going to not last very long at all. I think we're going to put a stop to this nonsense straight away and go and take York. And we've sieged down his capital and as easy as that without any battles we've taken there. So much for the Dane law. Well, technically still there but it's in pretty poor nick. Unfortunately we do have a really strong England there now. I think we're going to have to... Um, Keep an eye on them. So we've had another war against the Galve, the Yardum of Galve, um, given us one of our sons all the land. We're uh, getting pretty close to wrapping up England and Ireland. Uh, sorry, Scotland and Ireland. Uh, England's going to be our big problem, I think. So a populist uprising was successful in what was left of Scotland. Which is uh, perfect as far as I'm concerned because we can just jump right in, take that, and Scotland will be completely ours. Here we go. Here's the big one. England are getting massive, so we've got to... Um, well, actually, they've got East Franco as an ally, so what I'm going to do is farm off some of my children. So look for an alliance east frankia no england obviously not no this isn't very helpful so before i can declare on england i've realized i need a lot more piety so what i am going to do is as soon as my money is saved up we're going to go on a pilgrimage and uh, try and sort that problem out while we're waiting on that i'm going to declare every war i can that's um oh perfect under piety uh, every war I can that's going to be prestige based. So there, that's one. Got a truce with the Dane law, so maybe Gwynedd? No, I suppose not. Yeah, that's piety. So it looks like it's just going to be Islet. And that will be Ireland and Scotland wrapped up. And at that point, don't even need my whole army, I don't think. So there we go, that is all of Ireland conquered. So we've got Ireland, we've got Scotland, we've made um, a bit of a indent in England. But um, we need, if you look at the decision here to reclaim Britannia, we need to com control the entire region. So it's no good just forming the empire, we need, we need everything. So I think what we are going to do is, well first we're going to deal with these bloody peasants. And then we're going to go on a pilgrimage. So our truce with uh, King Sigrid is actually um, 
has actually expired. So before we go on and uh, have our pilgrimage, I'm going to go and take his counties off him. Start off with Northumbria, I think. Yeah. Should get some piety for this, I think, as well. So we've had a Northman army declare on us again for Connacht. Once again, this time, I think we're actually in a position where we could fight them. So, here we go. Before we worry about those Northmen, I am going to win this war here against the Danelaw. Here we go, the Northmen army. We've caught them and we've crushed them. Lovely. We should get something good for that. Oh, ho, ho. Lots of prestige, lovely. Right, back to the Danelaw. I think they probably thought we'd forgotten about them. So we've defeated the Danelaw, we've got the uh, Jarl of Northumbria under our control. He hates us, but you know, doesn't matter. I did demand his conversion, so at least he's Catholic now, so that's something. And uh, now it's time for a pilgrimage, I think. So we are going to go, where are we going to go? Pious, and we're going to go to Jerusalem. Mercenary guards, maybe experienced captains. It's already too expensive. Never mind. Um, if we change the route, I would like to cost no extra really to go through the Vatican and Rome. Yeah, that'll do. Only a little bit in debt. So this is our heir, um, Douglas. Douglas. I'm going to call him Douglas, I think, for the sake of simplicity. He, uh, he looks pretty good. You know, Herculean. That's fantastic. We're uh, on our pilgrimage at the minute. We're going for anything that I think will, um, whatever, will increase our piety by the most. 46% yeah, chance at 250 piety. Obviously, we don't get it. So there we go, that's our pilgrimage completed, 1,050 piety, we've got the pilgrim trait. Uh, fantastic, basically. This sets us up nicely to uh, have a pop at King Alfred the Kind. Um, he has some annoying alliances, but I think ours are better. I'm not even going to wait to get back from pilgrimage, I'm going to go and head on for the Duchy of Wessex, I think. Go straight for his homeland, and we're going to call in couple of our allies, I think, mm. we'll probably be able to manage with just West Francia. This war's actually going really well. England aren't as powerful as you'd expect them to be looking at the size of them. And with West Francia, we're making this pretty easy, really. And here we go. That is the Duchy of Wessex gone from King Alfred. I never thought he was that good anyway. And we're going to give this all out to... Uh, this guy, why not? I've also started a murder scheme against King Alfred. So hopefully, in the next four months, we'll be able to kill him and straight away go to war for another big duchy. I want to... So here we go. Will King Alfred die? Fantastic. 
So it's now King Aethelwulf, son of um, Alfred. I think what I'm going to do is try and get our prestige up, and then after that, we can go ahead and um, we can go ahead and take the whole of the Kingdom of England. So what I'm going to do on that front is go and stage a grand tournament in Gowrie. Looks like we can only have one thing on it, which isn't ideal, but, you know, there we go. Better than nothing. There we go, we've gained 600 prestige. And then... Some more. Perfect. As easy as that, quick grand tournament, and England should be next. Annoyingly, because of the uh, divide with the Dane law, we're not going to get everything. Here we go, if we can catch them here. Yeah, crush their army and then start saging them down. There we go. And on to the capital. There we go. That is our war versus England done. And it looks like we've accidentally just secured um, King Sigrid as the King of England. Which is um, not exactly what I expected to happen, but you know, there we go. So, I think we're going to go straight to war with Mercia here. We can take that duchy. That's another person wiped off the map that's standing in the way of Gaelic domination. Next on their hit list is going to be these East Anglians over here. A um, bit annoying that they've got these Welsh guys in, uh, in alliance with them, but I think if we declare on both of them, well, that's a lot of... Um, Oh, they've only got one. Never mind. Yep. Our son and heir here is busy popping out daughters. I um, four daughters so far, and all of them are Herculean. I would like one of them to be a son, but, you know, keep up the good work. So the Danelaw, or the Kingdom of England as it's become known, is uh, pretty, pretty embarrassing. He's a prisoner... He's got one province, and um, yeah, I think it's time for him to be wiped off the map. Put him out of his misery, I would say. And there we go. That is the King of England, once again, gone. So we can actually form the Empire of Britannia now. Uh, not, it won't be the end of our goal, but it's uh, getting pretty close now. And all of a sudden we've got a massive dissolution war, right as we're about to die. Um, not what I wanted, but you know, there we go. And we are dead. Yeah, and what a mess we're in right now. We're going to lose half of our kingdom. If we can win this dissolution war, then I think we can um, complete this campaign with this new guy. But to be honest, he's crap, and I wish he had never inherited. But there you go. So we've actually won our dissolution war, believe it or not. Um, we've now got 30 prisoners. I am going to keep most of them in prison, I think. And here we go. Another war. This time, our half-brother's claim on our kingdom. Fantastic. And we're defeating our brother in the first battle. That was huge. So we've got an alliance with the King of West Francia. Should be able to call him in. Hopefully this sorts out the mess I found myself in. I'm an inch away from just spinning this off, to be honest. But, you know... We were so close with our first leader, and now everything's just fallen apart. Mm. So we've become a lunatic. Our kingdom is in a... Well, it's a complete basket case, to be honest. I can't even work out who I'm fighting half the time. So it looks like we've got a new king of Scotland here, but that means um, we're just at war with the king of Ireland. 
uh, never gets easier. Or at least it doesn't feel like it does. I was so close. I was so close. And another person dead. Right. At least this time we're not completely useless. This war feels like it's never going to end. I'm um, really having a hard time with this. I think once we win this war, we can start to get back in a good position, but it's just it's just not happening. We're at 99%. I think we won one more battle. We should be able to win this war. So close. Thank God for that. That took forever. We're going to revoke basically everything from uh, Wessex. Basically move our capital down here. Make us a lot stronger. Now hopefully, 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 we can um, get on with completing this challenge. First. So we're setting up a big feast here. I just want to make sure we nip any rebellions in the bud. I don't want to be fighting again. We're so close to wrapping this up. I really want to, really want to do this in one lifetime now. There we go. Everyone has gained a lot of opinion with us. That should um, hopefully stop any wars from breaking out immediately. So now we're illustrious again. We can go and conquer the whole of South Wales. Oh no, we can't. We don't have any piety. Never mind. So we're going out on a pilgrimage to try and get um, a load of piety. Just so we can declare on these guys in Wales. So there's our pilgrimage over. Got a load of piety now. And with that, we're going to take all of South Wales, hopefully. And easy as that. One battle won, and that's all of South Wales taken. We are getting so, so very close. Um, Grant to Gaelic. If we give one person all of this land, then uh, at least they should be very loyal to us. They'll have a lot of, uh, a lot of high opinion. Ooh, not so I've declared on the Earl of Cambridgeshire. I don't know how he's evaded me for this long, but um, not for much longer. That's his army crushed. Oh, didn't even need to siege it. That was one of the quickest wars I think I've ever done. Uh, let's conquer the Duchy of Gwynedd. You might be able to tell that I'm up in the speed here because I'm, I'm uh, desperate to get this done before we have another succession crisis. There we go, that is Wales, almost. So there are three counties left in the uh, British Isles in Britannia that we've not yet secured. Three counties away from um, reclaiming Britannia. Right, so our truce with Berkshire has expired. We're gonna go straight to war with them. And that'll leave just Gwynedd, who I am working on murdering as we speak. Her spymaster will jump on side, so that should be fairly straightforward. So we've taken Berkshire and we've murdered the princess of Gwynedd, and somehow the rule of Gwynedd is a carling. I'm not quite sure how that's happened, but um, we can't take both provinces in one war, irritatingly. So what we're going to do is we are going to take one on and then we're going to try and murder him again. So we've been very lucky in the Earl of Shrewsbury here, or Amwiffing, if you're Welsh. I'm sure I've butchered that. Well, they've got independence from um, Gwynedd. So as soon as we've won this war, we can go ahead and take that. And that will be Britain reclaimed for the Gaelic people. And here we go. This is our last war, I think, hopefully, unless I've messed something up. As you can see, we've got everything apart from Shrewsbury here. It's not somewhere you'd expect a massive showdown to be in Shrewsbury, not to insult anyone who's um, from there, but you know, here we go. Right, so we've just had a massive rebellion breakout. Fantastic. Great timing. All we need to do is win this rebellion and we'll be fine. 
I didn't expect us to have to do this, but here we go. I'm going to find all the alliances in the world. Solve the consequences. This is what's happening. Galicia, yes. Alliance power. Anyone? I'll take it, Duchy Mallorca, whatever. I don't care. So I've called in all our allies. Um, I couldn't. I can't believe this is how it's happened. I needed one county, and then just as I'm about to siege it down, half of my kingdom erupt into rebellion. They just want to see me lose my mind, I think. So this is a big battle here. If we win this, yeah, here we go. That should that should make things a lot easier. God. This campaign has been a lot harder than it needed to be. Here we go, 100%. Another rebellion crushed. But this is the most important bit. Can we finally, here we go, reclaim Britannia? For too long, this great island of ours has been under foreign rule. At last, it is back in Celtic hands. I look out over the fields, and as it is, if the sun shines for the first time in years, it is as if the land of abundance and health, Tir Na Nog, I think, has returned to greet us welcome. The hills and valleys of our ancestors are once again embraced by culture. There we go. We are the Tuatha de Danan, which is definitely not how you say it. And we've reclaimed Britannia for the Gaelic people. That is, um, the end of a video that ended up being significantly more painful than I thought it would be. We nearly had it wrapped up with that first ruler, but it all fell to pieces. So um, with that, I'll pull this an end today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe and uh, comment. Tell me what you think about the video. Give me some ideas. You know, anything is appreciated, really. So thank you and goodbye.